Yo, you're like Thank a you. you're a really good hype man. I appreciate you. Oh, oh, oh! Boo, 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 boo. Just need to get you a really big clock. Was this your seat? That's it. Hey, this is your panel. Right, you can sit wherever you want. All right, all right, all right. Is that beer or no. apple juice? It's apple juice. Oh. It's it's it doesn't little... taste like that though. Hi, John. That's John's my dad. <laughs> nice jacket, Michael. He didn't bathe this morning. He did not. I tried to teach him to bathe every morning. That's why I don't bathe. Thank you. <laughs> Tries to show me how. Oh, he used to like it when we were little. <laughs> it's going to be one what, of those what, panels today. What panel guys. is this again? Well, first and foremost, thank you guys so much. This is so epic to have the four of you guys here. And out of curiosity, has there ever been a panel with just the four of you guys before? Erica? Just the four of us. No, this is ex ex exceptionally unique. The four of us. Yeah. Me and the boys. How delightful. We wanted to talk to you about our new sitcom. It'll be out on ABC. It's called The Four of Us. <laughs> just the four of us. You we and I, 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 I. I. Okay. Thank you for all for coming to Smallville Nights last night. Yeah, who, who? Who was there? Who was there? Yeah, best, was night, best night ever. So for those that couldn't attend last night, can you tell us a little bit about nope. that? Nope. No? Nothing? Nope. Not it's even It's an me? intimate moment between us and the folks. And guess who gave a surprise? Uh, we, could, we could say it now. Well, someone else up. did surprise us last night. <laughs> they did. In my pajamas. Underwearless. True. So I guess there's a little something there. Yeah. That's awesome. Little. <laughs> That's so rude. Wait, were the two of y'all in your pajamas also, or just, no. just John? Okay. No. Awesome. Okay, so before we throw <laughs> things over to the crowd, I guess um, I figure I, I'm going to ask one question about Smallville. What would you say, besides the obvious, was the biggest character arc for each of your characters? Aquaman. Aquaman? That was a good episode. No, they meant the biggest arc for your character. The biggest arc for your character, oh, for right? my character. Overall. Yeah. Oh, the whole thing. What? The entire series was my character arc. That would be my answer. Rephrase your question, please. Well, I meant, like, besides the... Okay. How do I ask this another way? Um, maybe the biggest... Oh, gosh, yeah, this, this is tough to ask Superman, isn't it? I wasn't Superman, you're right. Pre-Superman. <laughs> I'll give you his arc. You learn okay. not to trust anybody. There you go. Which Lex I, already I, did at the beginning. I liked when you started uh, staring at people, and, and when you started getting sexual, and, and Jonathan had to, to take you out in the woods and teach you how to... What about the show, out? John? <laughs> okay. I, I'm going to tell you my arc. Like, Can I tell them my arc? Be Please. careful. Because this is nonsense over here with these two. You cannot... I mean... They're not worth the, w uh, anyway, anyway. So I had a fight with Clark's father and I basically killed him because he died in the fight. Bo Duke. And then I went and wooed his mother. <laughs> All right, that's fine. That's an arc. That's an arc. That's, that's an dark. arc. That's a dark. A dark arc. A dark arc. Well, I'm a dark arcer. <laughs> Erica? Uh, Outside of the normal Lois thing, I, I like that they they allowed her to dress up. She went out, she was undercover, she played a superhero, she was possessed a bunch of times, so that's a little outside the framework. Didn't she get married? Framework. She got married at some point to some schmuck. <laughs> Did you marry him? I yeah. think, by the way, I Did think the, the arc for, for Lex, by the way, I didn't say, was, was really... Like he was pushed to the limit. I mean, everybody has a threshold. So he pushed me, liar, uh, you know. And you go, you don't go so far. You can do so much before you start to say, "Hey, there's no other choice for me because no one's helping me here. So I will have to be the evil villain that I'm." And no one to be. pushed anyone further than the way Lex pushed Lionel out the window. Out yeah. the window, <laughs> to his death. That's true. But but I I must say I went to the producers and said, "When you do get rid of me." Let Lex kill me, and that'll really push him over. Aren't I, aren't I smart? Yeah. Yeah. 
I think so. John's a big help. Do you ever look at people in the audience, Tom, and go, well, that kid right there is really cool, but he looks more like a Harry Potter fan and his family, <laughs> his family dragged him. Stand up, am I right? I am a psychic. I am correct. You were really here because you love your family. You'd never have watched Smallville. True, very true. Get in the back! I knew I called it. I looked at him. I'm like, that kid doesn't care he about it. He doesn't anything. want to be here. I, you, I could just look at him. He's like going, never long. You would watching, understand the Lex character very well, I think. I think he said he watched an episode. Is that what you said? One. Which oh, episode? You got the general gist. <laughs> what? Yeah, that's the first episode. You couldn't have watched the next week's one. It wasn't good enough for you, not enough meteor showers and death, you dark son of a gun. You didn't have a chance. What? Your father? Yeah. He doesn't get Right? Oh. So your dad's a Superman fan, your mom's not. Wow. So you're throwing mom under the bus. Yeah. Well, good for you, son, because Hulu has just picked up the entire series. Yes, you can watch every episode in its entirety. Watch me kill Lionel Luther. Watch me harass him and him lie to me. Watch me never hook up with Erica, but I do hook up with Lana Lang. And that's a character arc as well. But are you at least having fun so far? Okay, well, that's what matters most. So, how about on that note, we do have people already lined up at the microphone, so whatever questions, I don't think anything's off limits here today, friends, so uh, let's uh, get this party started. All right. What's your name? My name's Curtis, and my first question is really for Tom. Uh, the question is, obviously, throughout Smallville, you never donned the cape. Uh, that was a big thing throughout the entire run that we were never going to get to see it. Um, but the question is, when you were part of the Crisis on Infinite Earths recently, you were the one Superman who didn't join in the fight. Uh, although you did get to Lex, the deck Lex Luthor, even though it wasn't yours. Uh, what was that like to, to actually that be in part Lex of it? That wasn't Lex Luthor. Oh, okay. <laughs> that wasn't Lex Luthor. I mean, it was great. What I liked about it is, you know, all these people showed up talking about weird universes, and Clark's like, what the hell are you guys talking about? And then all of a sudden this dude shows up with this book that's way too big for him to hold. <laughs> He's like Gandalf's little kid trying to hold this book. And he's talking about these universes, and I'm like, huh? And then he just disappears. And I'm like, that was annoying. Let's go back inside, honey. It was great. Hi. Um, Are you so a triplet? I am triplet. I remember yes. you from last night. Yeah. Are You're the other two here? There's one that doesn't like to go out or something? Yeah. Is she here? Well, I was worried about no. that because there's triplets and two showed up to our Smallville nights and then I said, where's the third? And Tom's like, never ask that. <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, that could have been bad. Oh, she's dead. <laughs> oh, my God. What do you do there? Turns out she just doesn't like people. So she might as well be dead. <laughs> I'm just kidding. That was dark. I was just being stupid. Oh, yeah, hey, how are you? But it's their question, yeah. so let's stick over there. We'll um, get back to you over there, buddy. I love you. Um, anyway, I used to write the reviews for Krypton Sites. Um, oh, that was there. you. Yeah, that was me. <laughs> yeah. Uh, anyway, um, this question is mostly for Tom, but this is for anybody on the panel because it's an acting question. <laughs> yes, sorry. Uh, so it's a question for anybody. It, it's for anybody, but primarily for Tom, because this was your first. Uh, your we first heard you. <laughs> I'm feeling like I'm on Ellen. Anyway, uh, I read one time, uh, and I forget who said it, that every acting job was like a learning opportunity. And I just wanted to find out what, of anything, that you learned on Smallville that has helped you in the rest of your career since. I had to learn everything. I didn't know what a mark was when I got there. They were like, hit your mark. I'm like, hit what? They're like, that piece of tape. And I'm like, oh, why do you guys call it a mark? They're like, that's just what we call it. Just Can you stand there? And by the way, how <laughs> upset would he get season two when he became a pro? He'd be like, hit your freaking mark. Well, because Rosenbaum, not so me. There's, a, there's a thing, there's a, and the, not one is better than the other. But for me, when they put a mark, it's like a little T on the ground. And you walk up, you put your toes on it, right? Or just before it. Well, that's how I do it. Rosenbaum walks up and stands right on the middle of it. And the difference is the focus puller, it's a different, you know, he's trying to figure out where you're going to stand based upon where you, 
And Rosenbaum would always, so they, he didn't know this, but they used to put his mark like four inches back because by the time he stood on it, he was actually where he needed to be. And they never told him that. I was so into the moment that I, didn't, I couldn't be distracted by a mark. <laughs> you know what else I used to forgot is I used to have a sandbag. I used to come sometimes, just, yeah. just put a sandbag down. Then I don't have to think about it. I just all of a sudden, I know, that's what happens. You try to be serious, you're like, hey, Clark, listen, man. So every take, I'm like. It's true. There's a couple things we learned. Yeah. Ooh, what's your name? My name's Elizabeth. And this is, sorry, this is actually for Tom. <laughs> My favorite panel, actually. <laughs> um, are you glad you took the role of Superman, or Clark Kent, I guess, whichever one you want to go with, in spite of the Superman curse? What curse? What are you talking about? <laughs> so it's basically, once you become Clark Kent or Superman, you really never have anything else. It's just <laughs> Superman. <laughs> well, I guess it's true. <laughs> What are you going to do? Is that oh, true? Is that true? I thought it was something to do with And yeah, what, technically yeah, you weren't Superman. I really wasn't. It's if you put the suit on. And part of yeah. that is because then once you put the suit on, it's hard for people, at least in the old days, they really couldn't see you any other way because it's such an image. Now there's so many images all the time online. Everybody's in a suit. Anybody. Every actor's yeah, in a geez. freaking suit nowadays. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Thank you. But thanks. Thanks for bringing that up. Hi guys, my name's Robert, uh, this is for everybody. You all had a lot of meat between the possessions, meteor, rock influence, and like the body swapping from week to week. What was your favorite to kind of take on or your favorite moment as far as playing outside of your traditional character? Transference for me, when I got to play Lionel Luther. Yeah, that was that awesome, was, yeah. That was for me too, it was okay. very hard to play Clark. You guys did that really great. He doesn't yeah. do anything. <laughs> Well, no, I mean, he doesn't have to, because he, you can see him thinking. The way but, you paced everything but, was awesome. The, the, all right, thank the delivery, you. Yeah. No, I'm, no, I'm just saying, the guys did a great job. And there was no curse on that, either. No. <laughs> I, I'm done. Oh, yeah, no. I like, no. When you were, I like when you were president. Shut up. <laughs> no. Uh, you know, it's funny. People say that like he does. I think Tom really, he definitely had the hardest job because all this information is going around him. He's got to react to everything. You know, I thought you were like, you were in this, always in the center of everything. So, and by the way, he's working 14 hours a day. He's working 60 pages a week. I'd say, I remember going, I, I don't envy that. No, you know? And, me neither. And, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and I tried, so I was like, oh, fuck, you, know, you got to shave your head, dude. That sucks, man. I go, yeah, but still, you're here every day. <laughs> but uh, I don't, for me, it was probably, uh, Onyx, uh, Onyx and Lexmas. Onyx, when I was Lexmas. I was fighting myself, and that was really hard. So I was looking at X's, and my body double was playing there, and so I was fighting myself, and it was just really a great experience. I was was that, pl playing with myself. I it's, think I think that was the I think that was the script that Michael came to set like the week before, and he goes, "Dude, check it out. They got me playing two characters in the next episode, paid twice." <laughs> I go, "What? What?" He goes. I'm two characters, I'm playing Lex against Lex, they gotta pay me twice. I'm like, I don't think it works like that. And he goes, yes it does, dude. You can't just play two characters. Guess what, it doesn't work. I had to get paid twice. And Lexmas, by the way, when he's good, and you can see the life he could have had and all that sweetness if he didn't have a shitty dad. Anyway, that's it. Eric. I don't know. Come on. I seriously, I don't. What was that I one was episode? A lot. <laughs> One episode you, you saw, like, you really Who's the ancient lady? There you go. Isis, that was fun. Thank, thanks, guys. Oh. Is that how you pronounce it? Isis? <laughs> <laughs> so they didn't come up with that word later on? Smallville created Isis? <laughs> That's F. Do you think they were trying to figure out a name for their group, and they're like, I saw this episode of Smallville once. ISIS. Let's go with that. Yeah, I'm sure no one saw that episode. Oh my god. Wow, that's so dark. All right. <laughs> What's your name? So my name is Nathan, and uh, my question is for Michael Rosenbaum. Um, your last scene as Lex Luthor is your first on-screen appearance with Cassidy Freeman. So I was curious what you did to prepare for that scene. You know, I was really nervous that day because I hadn't been Lex in three years, and um, I called them like a week before. And I just said, hey, you got me next Friday the whole day. 
do whatever, but you got me one day. I'm wearing a ball cap. Figure it out. And they did. They wrote it in. So they wrote all this stuff in. So I got the script like a few days before, and I had never met Cassie, but I remember this agent called me and said, hey, she's a little nervous. She's doing this role. She, I guess she was not taking over for me, but she was joining you guys in season, what, eight? So I remember talking to her like years ago and going, hey, it's going to be great. The crew's great. You're going to have a blast. So now I come in. I've never met her other than on the phone, and I have to kill her. And so it was just, it was kind of odd, but it was kind of, it was cool at the same time because thank God I had already done my scene with him. And that was sort of nerve wracking. Like there's this giant crane shot and the destroyed Luther mansion, the crane comes down on me and I'm like, line, it's my line. <laughs> Tom starts laughing, breaks the ice and everybody starts laughing, but it was difficult. I was nervous and we, we worked 24 hours that day on all the scenes. But with the Cassidy scene, it was, uh, I like that I came back and actually did something. I killed someone. <laughs> anyway, Thank thanks. Hi, my name's Janet. Uh, Nathan's my boyfriend, and this question's probably the most. Why is that important? Oh, I'm getting to it. Obviously, I'm she's in love it. with him. Check it out. So we have a question. Nathan's my boyfriend, and um, Nathan, are you aware of this? <laughs> Did this just happen? <laughs> that would have been awesome. Just like Nathan right goes, now, Nathan's my boyfriend. <laughs> I love that. So anyway, anyway, I really have a crush on Erica. But um, go ahead. Uh, this question's probably the most contentious uh, debate we have in our relationship. Oh, great. Yeah, right. Who do you think is more likely to exist on Earth, Sasquatch or mermaids? Sasquatch. <laughs> Sasquatch. Mermaid. Really? No, seriously. Mermaids John, are half John? persons, peoples. John, what do you, you think is more likely to exist, Deep Sasquatch or mermaid? I don't know what a Sasquatch is. <laughs> uh, Bigfoot. Say mermaids, Bigfoot. so we're like 50 50 up oh, there. Squatching. Squatching. Mermaids. Mermaids. Squatching. Thank you. Mermaids. A hybrid. Thank you. Glad we could help. I like that they said that's like the biggest argument in their relationship, so. Wow, good for you. Yeah. Hey, y'all. Could, could you imagine them in bed, though? No, 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 not sexually. I swear, I, I swear to God I wasn't thinking that. And all of you are perverts, especially the Harry Potter kid. I told you it's Sasquatch. I'm going to bed. Yeah. Oh, uh, sweetie, you're so, oh my gosh, is that new lotion? Your skin is so supple, Sasquatch. Shut up. <laughs> Am I your little mermaid? I, no. <laughs> I just keep going on this. I can Sasquatch, you're back. You better put me in your phone as mermaid. <laughs> yes, hey, next question. Anyway, Sorry. what would you like to ask us? <laughs> so my question's for Michael and Tom. Um, if y'all could play any other iconic, like, villain, hero, duo in another show, what would y'all want to play? Don't say Batman and Robin, because you're Robin, bitch. <laughs> Don't say it. I think I'd like to play Sasquatch. <laughs> Batman, <laughs> Batman and Flash. You like, you like Batman. I do like Batman. That'd so be fun. I like Flash. I was Flash, so. Now, why was that question only for Michael and I? Okay. By the way, that would be pretty cool. Imagine you in a Batman outfit. Imagine me Flash. We got Riddler over here, the bad guy. We got like a Wonder Woman-esque kind of woman over here. That would be kind of cool. All right, thank you. Hi, somebody adjust the microphone, please. Jeez. My, my name is Mackenzie, and what... This is a question for all of you. What... Are your favorite superheroes not including Superman or um, Lex Luthor? Supergirl. Supergirl. Very good question. Very good question. Probably He Man. Ooh. Well, if you say He Man, then I'll say Skeletor. Skeletor. Uh, Barack Obama. <laughs> I like Wonder Woman. What? Yeah. 
Good question. Not Jason Momoa, I said mermaid. Oh, okay. Who is it under the sea? Aria. Aria. Yeah. Aria. I thought you were more of a poison ivy kind of. No, I was just referring back to the Sasquatch family. And oh, the mermaid. Okay. Go ahead, young lady. Hi. So my question is, and you kind of hit it on the nose. It's, Great. It's, Next question. <laughs> It's a, it, it really is kind of Clark's fault that Lex became evil. Do you think... Thank you. Right, right? It was supposed to be his best friend. friend. He was supposed to be there for him. Um, Wait a minute. Did, I had something Don't get to into this, that. Dad. Come on. Now. I think it was more Lionel. True, you did. I mean, Clark gave him mouth to mouth. What more do you want? <laughs> do you... Do you think that... He's got bad the, breath, too. Lex still would have... Do you think Power Lex still through. would have been evil if Clark would have just been honest from the beginning and been like, hey, I'm from Krypton. That's how I saved you. I, I think so. Secrets. He tears apart. That's what Smallville what is. It you're not telling us. <laughs> A lot of secrets. A lot of secrets in Smallville. I like Lana. You like Lana. You like Lois. Allison. What's her character's name? Chloe likes you. Did you ever? Did you guys ever have a scene together? The yeah. Two, me, Lois and, and Lex. Lois and not Lex. many. One. One. Yeah. That wasn't many. Yeah. One. That's it. One would be not <laughs> I think many. We had one. one. Would be, I, I'm, I'm one sad would about be that. fewer than many. <laughs> yeah, we had fun though. We did. Do you remember it? Did we not? <laughs> I think we did. Mm. Wasn't that fun? <laughs> Was it not fun? Did you come to visit me in jail? I did visit you in jail. That was one of my first scenes. Which but what awesome. about on the show? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what's your name? Hi, my name is Trish, and this question is for Tom. Um, so I know in the show that you were... <laughs> that you were actually wearing red and blue most of the time, yeah. just, you know, because. Um, do you find yourself drawn to those colors now? Absolutely not. In fact... You in just did that so that you didn't have to change too much. Yeah, yeah. but now it, with the other pro the projects, literally when, that I've done after the show, I walk in and for, the, the, for the wardrobe uh, rehearsals, and I'm like, I just, want to, I just want you guys to know, no red and no blue. And they're like, what? I'm like, no red, no blue. And they're like, different shades of red or blue? I'm like, I'll be open to some suggestions, but no red and blue. And I do try to avoid it, yes. Thank you. Those are two <laughs> primary colors, I, I mean, I'm wearing blue right now. But, but when you're working, red. you don't want to be distracted. Somebody goes, oh, he's wearing blue and red. That was, I think that was the guy. Yeah, I understand that. I, mean, I have red shoes on and a blue sh I'm, see, I'm, I guess I'm not very good. Well, I wear purple. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're wearing purple. I didn't know what color this was when I woke up. He's, I saw, I'm color he's colorblind. Blind. Right. Oh, thanks for laughing. <laughs> All right. Hi, my name is Ari. <laughs> Hi. Um, I, my question is, um, in Crisis, your, uh, Clark gave up his powers for his family, but if ever, it ever came time, would he get his powers back at, at any time? I don't know. I don't write this stuff. <laughs> but hypothetically, would and he? And apparently he they would? tried to tell me this is just one alternate universe. There's like millions of these universes. I was like, stop. <laughs> Let's just shoot this scene. Because that's all Clark knows at the moment. So I don't know. All right. Thank you. Okay, well, first things first, I'm also a triplet. Just thought I'd throw that out there. Oh, and your, your third the other is okay? Two. I actually, I'm actually the third one, just What'd saying. You do to the other two? They're both okay? You can say that. How do you, <laughs> why are you the third one? Aren't you all he the was, third? Maybe he was born eight seconds after. I don't know, ask my folks. They probably know. Were you the last one out? <laughs> yes. That should be a movie, last one out, about triplets. Or <laughs> last one out. This summer, I was the last one out. <laughs> yeah. Okay, well, uh, my name's Lance. Um, my question is actually for Tom. It's a very specific question. Oh, God. You ready, Tom? You ready? He was obviously the I mean, third I don't have one a choice. out. <laughs> Tom, could you please, if you could, sing the opening to Smallville? No. Let's do hey, hey, if you want, I can do it with you, man. How about that? No, absolu absolutely not. Come on, Tom. Let's no, do it. Come on. Sing. Get behind me on this. Get behind me on this. Do it. That's a lot of pressure. Do it. Do it. Do it. Oh, that's <laughs> mean. You can't pressure him. This is a 
Thank you for your question. Next question. <laughs> okay. That's when the management comes in. They're like, mm. okay, we're playing it though. Ready? No, just What's your question? Uh, hi, my name is Autumn. It goes out to Tom, our, <laughs> our Erica. Um, when they show that episode of Justice, where they show the episode of Clark meeting the Justice Society of America, what happened at the end where they showed the burial for Carter? Oh. Like it just like ended like with all the graves just rising. No idea what episode you're talking about. Um, Please help me, folks. So, Hawkman? What happened to him? Everybody knows well, except Well, I know that Hawkman saved my life. And I know what it was like to film that. It was five in the morning and I, we were like laying on the cold pavement in these weird wings made out of real bird feathers. It was weird. But I don't, I don't, I don't I'm sorry. If, if, I'm not trying to be a jerk. I honestly don't, I don't remember if that. If it wasn't on screen, we probably have no idea. <laughs> I just want to say, Erica, I love you, but Tom and Michael are so iconic just being together. Cause like it's Michael quite delightful, <laughs> isn't it? Yeah. I like to sit and watch them be together as well. She, pin <laughs> she er Erica pinches herself every time she has to be with us. <laughs> so lucky. She's like, this is so this great. This is amazing. Um, <laughs> you guys zoom into that. <laughs> Can we get the... Can we get a zoom in zoom on the up, phone? Okay, hold on. <laughs> That's the Harry Potter kid. <laughs> He's like, if this stupid wand would work, I'd get the hell out of here. <laughs> That's the best. Oh, now they're trying to take a picture of the picture of the picture. You made it, kid. Congratulations. All right. He's become a Smallville fan. You'll see he'll be up at our table going, all right. He might make it to episode two. We'll see. All right. Hello, everyone. My name is Sanai. It's just a little bit like seeing my heroes on the stage and like actual breathing. Same here. But um, my question is, um, do you find it hard to get out of your characters' heads after being them for so long? No. <laughs> cool. I did. I swear to God. This is the truth. Well, when I was going crazy, like in season three... I mean, I was in a straight jacket. I was going mental. I was jumping on fences. I was running barefoot. We were doing night shoots. And I honestly was losing my mind. I remember I was staying with my friend Tom and Denis, and we're staying in this uh, apartment. And my alarm goes off in my van. I, I had a van for a long time because I like to travel and stuff. Oh, I remember this. And I remember the alarm goes off. And I'm like, waking up. I'm not sleeping well. I'm, cr I'm just going nuts. My, every line is like, you know. And I, I go, what the hell? And I wake up my friend Tom. I go, Tom, hey. Not Dude, me, I think, not, not me, him. folks. I go, I think somebody's bringing my car. Somebody's bringing my van. He's like, no, oh, man, it's all right. I go, so I grab, what do you call the, uh, the hook? The big wooden thing in uh, the hang clothes. Thank you. Oh, thanks, Harry. Clothes hanger, I guess, the wooden thing. Wow, that was easy. Gosh, a nine-year-old helped me with that one. Stor all right, well, 15, all right, my bad, Harry. Uh, so I went out with this pole, and I went out to the van, and there's this guy in my van. The guy who broke in my van. I almost killed this guy. I, Tom had to stop me. I was like, what, what are you doing in my van? He's like, oh, I, was, I was watching it, man. Somebody broke in. I was just laying here, man. I was, you're a liar. That's ridiculous. I remember grabbing this hook, and I just, I didn't hit him. I just smacked the ground. I was like, get the hell out of the car. Get the hell out of the van now. Get out of the van. I'm going nuts. And my friend Tom goes, no, 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 dude, dude. I'm, my, Deneen's calling the cops, so keep him in the van. I'm like, get in the van! Get back in the van! <laughs> and he's in the van, and he's standing there, and then the guy's like, I'm sitting there, and I'm just pacing. I'm trying to keep my cool. I got to work in two hours. I got to shave my head for two and a half hours. And I remember, you know, the guy's like, he just goes, hey, man, you got a cigarette? And I go, I will effing murder you! And no one will care! Shut up! I got Marlboro lights. <laughs> You shithead. Stay in the van. And then the cops come and they're like, sir, did you see the guy break into your van? I go, no. But he was in my van when I showed up. He goes, did you actually see him? 
breaking into your van? I go, no, I didn't. Did you sure you didn't see him? I go, oh, yes, I saw him. He was breaking through that. Great. Handcuffed and arrested the bastard. I got to set. I think it was the best performance of my life. I was out of my mind. But yeah, I mean, when you're playing mental constantly and you're in straight jackets and hanging upside down, they, tor they really torture me. I should go back and sue. But I, I went nuts. I think you saw me going a little nuts, didn't you? Yeah. We all had our moments. Oh, yeah. Yep. yep. See you go nuts. You're pretty fun. I'm older. More mature. More mature. That's for sure. Hi, guys. Uh, my name's Renee. Renee. All of y'all are awesome. So I have, <laughs> I have like a really weird question. Hang on. I know that song. <laughs> Don't walk away, Renee. I didn't know my name was in a song. Thank you. That's What's your question? <laughs> yeah. So, I'm going to feel really dumb if you all say no. Has anybody read the Sword of Truth series? The what? The what? The Sword of Truth series. Sword of Terry no. Goodkind. Has anybody seen Legend of the Seeker? No. Ah, oh, you guys. Okay. I saw the should... Secret of Nymph once. No. You should read Sword of Truth. Richard Raw, Tom, has always been the person that I imagined in the main character person. And so it's just like, oh my you should God. make some phone calls. Maybe um, that'll be but definitely should role. read it. Definitely should read it. Um, and what is y'all's favorite book? Because I'm looking for something new because it ended and I need, like, do you guys have a favorite book? Uh, right now it's uh, Mama Llama. <laughs> <laughs> you guys know that one? Yeah. It's the Llama Llama series, isn't it? Lots of yeah. children's books. Well, you know, it's about the baby Llama whose mm -hmm. mama leaves him in the bed yeah. and then screams. Yeah, because yeah. she's downstairs doing work. And That's he's my like, favorite Mama, book I'm right scared. Now. Sorry, we have Aww. little kids. Yeah. I do too. <laughs> I, I will totally read that to my two-year-old. I, I read a lot of self-help books lately. <laughs> That's you what you call those? <laughs> yeah, I read a lot, of it, a lot of them. Come up to my table, I'll give you a whole list of them. John, what's your favorite John? book? What? I don't know. Well, I like a, a autobiography. There's a great one that uh, Kazan wrote called My Life. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Sorry, My Life. Um, you read Kazan? Yeah, yeah. He changed uh, filmmaking. Yeah, if you're interested in that, get it. My life, okay. Kazan. Yeah. Thank Dark you Side of Camelot by Hirsch. That's a great book if you like Kennedy and you realize you don't like Kennedy. <laughs> if you're on, on, looking for stuff maybe along the like Great Library. I don't know if you guys have read that, but that's really good. That's about like 67 bucks. And it's thank you guys along those lines of it. Sorry, that was the Renee song. That's her song. All right, guys, just a heads up. We have about five minutes left, so, all right. You want to do a rush rapid one? Fire. I know, rapid I, fire. Uh, this is rapid fire. Okay. Rapid fire. All right, hang on. Rapid fire. Here we go. Uh, We're going to go fast. The questions are No stories, just questions. No two questions. Go ahead, young lady. Boom. <laughs> Get off. Pressure's on. Pressure's <laughs> on. Um, I just um, wanted to say that I enjoyed the show so much because I got to watch it with one of the little girls I used to nanny, and it got us really close. So she'd come down the stairs and she'd go, she's like, we watch Superman? I was like, yeah, sure, okay, we can watch it. And every time that Clark would leave the stage, she'd go, we're Superman. <laughs> and then Lana would leave and she'd go, we're Lana. <laughs> and when Lana left the show, she was like, where's Lana? I was like, she left. So we started from the beginning. She goes, Lana came back. <laughs> she was just as young seven years later, the little girl, she said that about <laughs> Lana and then seven years. She was three, so, oh, okay. yeah. Just calling you out. <laughs> Is that it? Yes, thank you. Thank, thank you. you. I love that you didn't have a question. That's great for us. We don't have to answer it. Come on right here. Rapid fire. Rapid fire, go ahead. My name is Isabel, and I have a question for Tom and Michael. <laughs> yeah, go ahead. Faster. Well, rapid fire means just questions. Was it, was it weird for you guys um, when you first transitioned from being best friends to like mortal enemies? No, we had a lot of fun. Next question. <laughs> it was a nice transition. We, had, we did have a lot of fun doing that, but it was a process. So we relied on the writing and we worked things out ourselves. Here we go. We do rapid fire so we can try to get Hi, everybody. Hi, I'm Sean. Hi, Sean. Hey, um, when it comes to action scenes in Smallville, do you all have a favorite action scene in the show? Uh, Tom. I loved them all because those were technically my days off. Because... Oh. The action days were days where there wasn't a lot of dialogue, there's a lot of movement. And to me, those were my days off in, a, in the best mindset way. John. Oh, cool. uh, that was that one episode when I saved Annette and everything. Oh, that one episode when I saved Annette and, uh, and I, did, I was running alongside trains and I did it, did it, and there's a 
Yeah. Erica. Oh, Cage, I, 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 Cage I, I, fighting in a red suit. Oh, oh yeah, bro. Awesome. The, thank you all. That was my favorite, too. Oh, great. Thanks. Thank you. <laughs> How you doing? My name is actually Clark. I work for a radio station. Uh, Question. What's the radio have, station uh, called? What's the radio station called? Uh, WNCC. WNCC 107. Here's a question. A quick rap, rap, rap fire. Hurry the fuck up. All right, this is for everybody. If you could choose one song for the rest of your life and you walked into a room and it had to play, what song would that be? Not Somebody <laughs> Save Me. No. We don't play that. I want to know what love is. <laughs> that's <laughs> that's love. I want to know what love is. That's about it. Big Pimpin. Yeah. Tom. Big Pimpin. Jay Z. Big Pimpin. Yeah. Erica. Living. Dirk Spentley. Yeah. I'm a rock chip. Rosenbaum, I think it would be La Bamba. Oh, ho, ho, ho. No, the, the Queen song. Queen. Yeah. Oh, which Don't one? Stop Me Now. Don't Stop Me Now. <laughs> that. Good time. Although, I, yeah, I go crazy. Never mind. Uh, my name's Becca, and I wanted to know what the either most uh, embarrassing, illegal, or funny thing that you guys have Three done? Three questions. Yeah. Go with embarrassing, illegal, I'm go with and... illegal. What's the most embarrassing um, thing that you guys have done? I took a lot of things over the border I wasn't supposed to because we used to go back and forth for the uh, beginning and the end of the series. And technically, there's some things you're not supposed to take that I did, like animals and things. That was pretty illegal. Mine was in a green suit constantly. I looked like a frog. I hated it. Go ahead, John. Illegal or? Microphone. I got, I got uh, yes, all right. I, I, I got food poisoning one time and kept barfing on the set. <laughs> wow, Erica. Did you barf from that? What? What's your most embarrassing? Yeah. I don't know. This is embarrassing. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I was traveling once and strapped a bunch of cash to various parts of my body to get the money over the border. Wow. <laughs> Pretty cool. Come on, lady. Let's do this. We got Sam Jackson, three away. Here we go. So my question is for John. What I would like to know, if you had, and I love Smallville, by the way. I own the entire series on DVD. Jared. Question. Um, we love you. We, we get it. That's right. Um, my question is for you. If you had the chance to go in John Wick and, a f and vengeance for Willem Dafoe's character. I'd like to get inside John Wick. No, 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 the podcast. What? My podcast is called like, Inside I, I don't know who John Wick is. Keanu. What? Keanu, Keanu Reeves. Reeves. Keanu Reeves. He doesn't. I've lost He's it. never seen it. But good question. I like it. Thank you. He has no idea. I'm, I'm old. Oh, that I, I, what? You're I not don't old. Know anything anymore. You're not old. Go ahead. My you know you got the, you, the you, they called you Sam Jackson, right? Yes, I know. Ezekiel 25, 17. Yes, Look at everybody, right? I hope they burn in hell. Okay. And you talk to, like, yeah. All right. All right, all right. Okay, what's your question. question? I know he's probably the practical joker. Can y'all tell me a time someone did a, Cool practical joke on the set. Off, off. We made Rosamund dress in a green leotard behind a green screen, and when he really didn't have to, and made him do like funny little <laughs> dances and stuff. I'm honestly still pissed at that. I am because it was like an hour of me going, and then they go, "We want you to scream." I'm like in this green on these things, going, Whoa! I'm like, "Why am I doing that? How? <laughs> why, why would Lex ever do that?" And we're behind the monitors where he can't see us, and we're like, <laughs> "Yeah, dude, I pissed off. Sorry, yeah. They took advantage of me. Thanks, man. Thanks, Sam." Hey, how you doing, man? Good to see you. Let's do it. Valzan, quick question. Have you ever read the Smallville season 11 comic books? I haven't. I still have it. No. But Michael and I think we should voice an animated series of it. We want to do Smallville, the animated series. I will see it. Would With you the see whole cast. How many would watch it? Here. I mean, that would be f Even the Harry Potter kid would. All right. He's thanks, like, man. I don't know what it is. Yeah. It'd be good. Huh? Well, you're converting it. I'm converting. Hello. All right, one question for John and Erica. Good. Would you two be, would you, John, be willing to redo the Star Wars Red Harvest with Erica as Jedi and you the Sith Lord again? i do anything with John again. <laughs> and oh, you and I have the same thing. i do anything with Erica. <laughs> <laughs> wow. What just happened, nice. folks? All right, get it up. Get it up. Give it up. What? This is the what? final question. All right, let's do this. This better be good, buddy. I hope it's good. I hope it's good, too. It's for John. Great. No. Oh. <laughs> well, we don't even know if it will be mic'd. <laughs> In John Wick 2... I'm, re I'm ready. <laughs> what other DC comic villain kids are you the father of? I don't know, but I... <laughs> 
I met Shazam. I was the worst father in the world. You, you got Dr. Shivana, Lex, Bane, and Poison Ivy. Why do they hate you? Exactly. Now, wait a minute. Bane, Poison Ivy? Yeah. I, Uma Thurman <laughs> kissed me to death. No. I mean, come on. She, and we had to do it over and over and <laughs> over and over. And every time her tongue would just go deeper and deeper. Is that true? Yes. No, she, it isn't. No, no, no. Damn it. That was like got me going, what? But I did. Uma break, Thurman? I broke up her marriage with Ethan Hawke. I mean, we had, we, had a, we had a little mini affair. And once Ethan found out about it, you know, I'm, uh, I'm a bullshitting. <laughs> yeah. That's pretty cool. You, you had, had me. I'm like, no. Um, I got one more question. Um, <laughs> would you guys do like everybody's like redoing stuff now? It's like every time you see a show, it's like, oh look, it's Buffy. They're coming back for a movie or a new series like Beverly Hills 90 something. Would you guys do a Smallville uh, reunion? Would you? No. <laughs> How about you, Tom? Thank you. No. Erica. Shut up. You're all, you're all selfish actors who deserve shit. I'm going to yeah. Harry Potter. Harry Potter. <laughs> well, uh, Michael runs off. Uh, but before we end this panel, we're actually going to do something kind of fun if it's okay with all of you guys. We're going to take a big group photo with the Harry Potter kid and the cast of Smallville. <laughs> Is that okay with you guys? All right. Well, before we wrap this up, any final thoughts before we take this photo? <laughs> Thanks for being here, you guys. Yeah, we love you, Richmond. This was a blast, really. Richmond's awesome. Richmond's fun. Great convention. We love this. No. Well, then you're gonna see crappy hair, though. Where's my hairstylist? Oh yeah.